Today, we are gonna be doing some upgrades on my little Losi Mini T. Uh, we have some really nice upgrades by Losi, HR, and our design. So if you guys love the little Mini T, this is gonna be a really cool upgrade video. So stay tuned. We're gonna get started right now. All right, so here's all the parts laid out. Now this is the uh, two-wheel drive brushless version. Losi Mini T. This is the car we're going to be using. So, first we're going to start with the Losi aluminum upgrades. First we have the front pivot, and then we have a rear aluminum hub set, a pivot block set in aluminum, front brace set, then we have a servo mount, then the servo arm, and then we have a couple shocks. Now I know these are both rear shocks, but we can make one set front. We're just gonna change the springs out and that should work. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, we got some HR goodies here. We got the aluminum front knuckles in HR and we have some really nice uh, still universal axles. Uh, these are really a nice upgrade uh, versus the ones that are already on the truck. And then we have uh, aluminum bell crank set up here. And then we have a really nice R Designs uh, Willy Bar with some carbon fiber in it. So this is really nice. A lot of you guys, if you guys own a brushless Mini 2, you know this thing is a Willy Monster. And we definitely need this Willy Bar. Uh, so there's around 250 bucks around in here in parts. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm up to. I went ahead and I started with the rear end first. Uh, I took the wheels and tires off, of course, unhooked the steering servo, and um, we got the little dog bone uh, out of the truck and the rear hubs and the rear shocks. So this is what we got accomplished so far. Like I said, we got the rear shocks off, the plastic ones, we got the dog bone assembly out, rear plastic rear hubs are out. Um, so now all I got to do is slap these in, put the bearings in the aluminum rear hubs, and we're going to slap the aluminum shocks in. So that's what we're doing right this second. And then after we get done assembling the rear, we're going to get to the front, which is going to be, you know, a little more complicated, kind of, depending on how much experience you have in doing this. For me, it's pretty easy. You just got to take your time. Make sure you don't lose no screws and nuts and bolts or whatever. That's why I got these little three trays here. That really helps out a lot. So uh, let's get this uh, rear end assembled with all these goodies here. And then we're going to move on to the front. Alright, so hopefully you guys got a good view of what I'm doing right here on the table. I'm going to go ahead and slap the uh, bearings in the rear hubs. Shouldn't be too, too difficult, I wouldn't think. Maybe in the inside ones, I don't know. No, they went right in. Nice. You want everything to go smooth. Uh, if you want to push this in, just use like one of these and it'll kind of push it in. Use your little tire wrench. That's what I do. Push in these little bearings. So that helps a lot. So I really enjoy working on these cars. Uh, just as much as I do running them, of course. You know, I'm out here working on them instead of out there playing with them. But hey, that's how it goes sometimes. So we're going to slide these right in. Immediately slide them in. Slide the still universal axles in. These, I mean, this is a really nice upgrade for this car. That's going to be nice. Wow. So you got to get your little pin in here. In the little axle. And then put the little plastic hex back on. That's going to help hold everything together. Alright, let's see. Boom, just like that. Look at that. You guys can see that? That is nicey nice. Alright, so we got the aluminum shocks on. It's looking really good. Uh, we got the aluminum hubs by HR. Those things are real nice. Good quality parts by HR. And then we have the uh, still universal drive shafts. Those look... Those look really good too. Uh, that's a really good upgrade. Uh, the, the stock ones seem a little more thinner. Uh, plus, you don't have the dog bone anymore. So, 
Yeah, it looks really good. Now we're gonna get the front done. All right, so we got the front end apart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put each upgrade on. I'm gonna show you guys after I uh, get it done. So first we're gonna start with the uh, aluminum bell crank steering assembly, which is right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on this assembly and then put it back down. And then we'll, we'll do other parts and steps and then we'll just put everything together at once. So that's how I'm going to do it. All right, so we got the bell crank assembly on uh, together on the links here. So those are looking really good and got new bearings in it even though they didn't need it. Then we have the pivot block on the front A-arms with the aluminum knuckles. So those are looking really good on there. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put the uh, front brace on, which is right here. We got those in aluminum. And then we will put the uh, servo mount on as well, which are right here uh, that hold the servo on the chassis. So that's what we're going to do next. All right, we're moving. So we got the front braces on in aluminum and the servo mounts on both sides. So these two pieces are aluminum, it's looking pretty good. You guys can see that. So we got a lot of this stuff going on right now. Uh, we still got the pivot block set. And well, I decided not to do the servo arm because I don't want to lose my servo saver. So I'd have to take the servo saver off to put the aluminum servo arm on and I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna leave this uh, stock servo arm on because uh, I want that servo saver so all right let's move to the pivot block set and then we're gonna probably start putting this stuff together all right so let's do a quick update on the on the build here I did get the rear pivot blocks in now I couldn't put the rear pivot block in because part of the willy bar is the pivot block on the back so couldn't use the other piece uh, this took its place the willy bar is really nice by our design uh, this is actually the version 1 Willy Bar. They do have a a version 2, apparently. But this is really nice. Carbon fiber, rubber wheels, got ball bearings. This thing is nice. Uh, like I said, already got the aluminum rear sh uh, shocks on, hubs, and the uh, CVDs or universal axles, what do you want, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to start working on the front. Uh, getting this thing together. Let's start getting this front end built up Because we got most of the parts on these other parts uh, Right here. We got the knuckles and the front block pivot block here already assembled ready to put in the car So let's get this front end assembled and then I'm gonna give you another update All right, I could not help just to keep working on this thing. I finally got it done I do have the wheels and tires off so you guys can see uh, the car, all the parts, really nice quality parts by Losi and uh, HR, all aluminum that I put on here. Uh, the Willy Bar from our design, really nice aluminum and carbon fiber. Very impressed with it. They actually have a 2.0 version of it's a little longer Willy Bar. This is the shorter one. I, re I prefer the shorter one on this small of a car. But man, I, I can't believe it turned out so nice. Aluminum knuckles, hubs. Uh, aluminum shocks, aluminum uh, steering assembly, the uh, servo brackets, uh, the universal CVDs that I put on the back. Very, very nice parts. This is a lot of money in this little car now. I probably got like over 500 bucks in this little OC Mini T now between buying the car and putting all the, the upgrades on it. So, you guys, that is it. I, I hope you enjoy it. It's not really much of a tutorial than just slapping some parts on and just looking at the beauty of this RC. So that's all I have for you. You guys like the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for more videos. And uh, go out and upgrade your little Losi Mini T. And we'll see you on the next one.